Every time when you leave your house, does your mother tell you to be safe? She does not let you go out alone out of your house. Do you know why? Well, when you leave your house alone, you can get lost. Let me tell you a story of two children who got lost as they went out alone. Hansel, along with his sister, Gretel, had gone on an adventurous walk in the jungle. After some time, they realized they had lost their way. They were very tired and hungry. Suddenly, they saw a house. They could get smell of yummy food coming from the house. So they entered the house. Do you know whose house it was? Well, it was the wicked witch's house. The wicked witch locked the two kids up and decided to eat them up. The children started crying. But as soon as the wicked witch left, they escaped from the house. They ran and ran and ran and dashed with a huge yellow colored beast. The yellow colored beast listened to all their worries and decided to help them. Do you know who this beast was? Well, it was the lion. The lion is the king of the jungle. He lives in the jungle along with the other animals. So, let's meet all the animals. Some of these animals live in land. Some live in water. Some live both in land and in water. Let's first meet the animals of the water. The animals who live in water are sometimes very tiny. These tiny animals are called fishes. They swim in the water. Not all animals living in water are tiny. See, this is also a fish. It looks like a ribbon and it is quite big. Let's meet another water animal. Look at this animal. This is so huge. This is a gangetic dolphin. It also lives in the water. So, let's think and answer. Fishes live both on land and in water. No, I don't think so. We just studied that fishes live only in water. So, this statement is false. See, the fishes live only in water. Can you see this huge animal swimming in the water? Well, this is a rhinoceros. But does a rhinoceros live only in the water? But look here, a rhinoceros is walking on the land. So, just like when you feel hot, you take a dip in the pool or when you feel cold, you like to take a walk in the sun. Animals are just like us. When they feel hot, they take a dip in the water. And when they feel cold, they bathe in the sunlight. Look at this huge animal. This animal lives on the land. It has one two, three, four. It has four legs. It is an elephant. It also has a tail. So, this animal has four legs and one tail. Let's meet some other land animals. This is a monkey. A monkey also has four legs and one tail. Look at all these animals. They all have four legs and one tail. Like the zebra, 
the giraffe this is the lion we met at the beginning of the story it also has four legs and one long tail this is a tiger this also has four legs and one tail let's revise so we learned about land animals here the question is dash is a land animal elephant we know is a land animal we just now study fishes are not land animal they live in water and eel also live in water we also live on land but we do not have tails so you might be wondering why does all this land animal have tail well when flies sit on your food what do you do you drive them away with your hand but animals don't have hands so they use their tail to drive away any flies when it irritates them the tail also help animals in climbing it acts as a support for them can you see this tiny animals see they are so tiny we can't even recognize them well let me show you properly see these animals here these animals are very tiny but they are found in almost every places these tiny animals are the insects some of this insects can crawl some can fly and some can both crawl as well as fly so tiny animals found in most places are called insects let's meet the tiniest insect it is an ant an ant may look very tiny but when it bites it is very painful this is another one insect it stings and do you know how many legs it have well it has six jointed legs now what does the term jointed means look at their legs properly see we can see that all the parts are joined with each other so the insects are said to have jointed legs let's meet another one insect see this is the scorpion it also has jointed legs and it too has six jointed legs but are you wondering why do the insects bite well let me explain suppose you have a brother or a sister and you take away his or her toy what does he or she do well he bites you because he thinks you are harming him just like that insects are very tiny they try to protect themselves and in doing so they bite look at this insect it is a spider it has eight jointed legs but unlike other insect the spider spins a web now why does a spider spins a web well it spins a web to catch its prey or food these insects may seem very tiny but they can make us severely ill see when these insects sit on the garbage they collect the dirty particles of the garbage on their feet then when these insects fly and sit on your food these dirty particles get transferred to your food when you eat this food you can get severely sick so now we know that insects like flies can make us severely ill dash
can make us ill. We just now learned flies can make us very, very ill. Insects are tiny and they are afraid of many things. But don't tell the witch. Insects are afraid of birds. They are afraid of big animals and they are also afraid of humans. Birds and animals eat the insects and humans like little children trap the insects. Let's meet another animal. This is a snake. A snake is very unique animal. Do you know why? Because it has no leg. A snake moves like a wave on the ground. It has scales on its body. This is a crocodile. A crocodile has sharp pointed teeth. This is a crocodile. So all these animals we met lived in the jungle. These are wild animals. Wild animals are those animals who like to live in the forest. So what is the largest animal we met? Well, the largest animal we met was the elephant. What is the smallest animal we met? Well, the smallest animal we met was the ant. Now let's see how all these animals punished the witch. First came the tiny ant. It came and bit the witch. With pain, the witch still kept on walking. Suddenly, the spider sprang in front of the witch and spun a wave across her face. Blinded, the witch still kept on walking. Then the scorpion stung her. Then she ran with the pain. As she rested, the snake came and bit her. With pain, she fell into the water. As she was about to get up, the crocodile bit her. She ran as she rested. The zebra and the monkey hit her hard with their tails. As she tried to escape, she dashed with the elephant who threw her to the lion and the lion ultimately ate her up. So, wasn't it amazing how all the animals saved Hansel and Gretel? Starting from the tiny animals to the huge one. So, we learned that animals are very, very helpful. 